Hi guys, Mrs. Rubino here once again. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about an EpiPen or an EpiPen auto injector. Now, when we use an EpiPen, it has epinephrine in it. Epinephrine basically is a form of adrenaline, okay? So when we have to use an EpiPen, it is going to be um, in emergencies only. Okay, and those emergencies are going to be able to treat very, very serious allergic reactions, um, either to insect bites, bee stings, um, different types of foods, um, different types of drugs, and other types of substances that individuals will come in contact with. So if an individual is definitely allergic to something specific, like for instance, a, a bee bite or a bee sting, they better be carrying one of these EpiPens on them at all times because if they get stung, they need some kind of an emergency um, treatment as fast as possible because if they start to have an allergic reaction and it gets to the point where it can be very severe, which would be called anaphylaxis, all right? Anaphylaxis is a very important um, issue that you would definitely need the treatment of the epinephrine pen or the adrenaline um, because it will be both life-saving and also intubation sparing. Now, intubation sparing means that the likelihood of being having somebody being intubated so they can breathe is a little bit more less when using an EpiPen than, again, if somebody just walks into the ER and is experiencing anaphylaxis and don't and doesn't have or didn't inject themselves with any kind of EpiPen. <clears throat> so anaphylaxis is life-threatening. It basically um, people can definitely have their their airway close up on them. And again, if their airway close up, they're not breathing and they can die. So that is the most serious thing, and that is going to be the question of the day. What is the allergic reaction where it's an emergency situation that you're going to need an EpiPen? That, the answer would be anaphylaxis. All right, so moving on. So <clears throat> as you can see in front of me, I have a packet of EpiPen um, injectors. And what happens is that once you know that you have, and this is basically a prescription only from the doctor, okay? Um, the person would carry this along with them at all times. And the only bad thing is that when a person does inject themselves, these are trainers that you see that I have in front of me, but they're basically the same things that you would use if you would have to do this to yourself. Um, so I'll show you how to use this. But the, um, the effects of the medication it is basically, it's very rapid, so that's why we need to have this because again, if it's a life-saving um, situation, you want it to fast act, of course. But bottom line, it doesn't last very long. So if you use one of these, you need to call 911 as soon as you can um, to get medical help there because most of the time you might have a two pack, but pretty much you might only have one of these on hand. So you gotta be very, very careful. So you need to get 911 and EMS there immediately when you use one of these, okay? All right, so <clears throat> let's see. So after you inject the person, what are some of the side effects, I should say? Some of the side effects, you gotta be careful because if a person is, first of all, allergic to any kind of sulfates, um, sulfates are basically their salts of sulfuric acid um, that we use in products, everyday products, I should say. So sulfates are found in like shampoos, soaps, toothpaste, and basically what a sulfate does is that, that that's what makes that product foamy or lathery or just soapy in, in general. So that's why we have it a lot, like I said, in our shampoos and whatnot. But we gotta be careful because some people are allergic to sulfates, but you know, unfortunately, the doctor prescribed the medication of your EpiPen because of an allergic reaction to something else. So maybe the person that has a sulfate allergy also is allergic, severely allergic to bee stings. 
Well, if you take this, you may have a reaction relating to the sulfate allergy, okay? However, this outweighs the allergy for a sulfate. So bottom line, remember, your doctor prescribed the medication because basically the benefits to you is going to be greater than the risk of the side effects, okay? So that's one thing. Another type of side effect would be, again, it's adrenaline. So it kind of pumps you up. So you're going to have a fast heartbeat. You're going to have nervousness, some sweating, possibly nausea and vomiting, um, maybe a headache or dizziness, um, things like that, okay? But again, these side effects will go away, all right, after. If they don't, then again, you better call the doctor or 911 um, because that's, that's something else that might be going on. All right, so with that said, for a trainer, what we do, okay, we have this type of trainer, and then I have the smaller. Usually, this is what your, your EpiPen would look like. It's not, not as big as this. Um, <clears throat> but what you do with all of them, basically, is on the one end, you just pop off the little container thing, okay? This end here is going to be where the needle or the injector is, okay? So then you pop that off and you hold it nice, just like you're gonna stab because you are going to stab the person. And you're gonna stab them on the outer thigh. And you really have to give a nice jab, okay, for the injecting to go in and to penetrate into that muscle. Now, also, you have to hold that in place for about 10 seconds or so for the medication to, to be delivered. Once it's delivered, you go and you throw it away, okay? Um, one-time dose type deal. So that's why sometimes you might wanna keep another one on hand just, God forbid, in case you're gonna need it. Um, all right, so other than that, I'm trying to think, I think that's about it in regards to an EpiPen. But just remember, you have to really stab that person and hold it for about 10 seconds and it may some of them you can hear the definite the click because when the click comes um, you know that it's injecting properly now here's the other one I also popped off the the lid or the cap for that and again <clears throat> I'm gonna stab that person with this end so again put my guy back up he's falling over on me again I hold it stab it count for about 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and release. And I just delivered the dose of the epinephrine into my clients or my patients outer thigh. All right, guys, that's about it. You already have the question. Have a good day and We'll see you soon. All right, bye.